Hello everyone, welcome back to Kiran's English Hub. So here we are continuing with the summaries of 9th class English. And so far we have completed till unit 5 reading B. In this video, I am going to teach you reading C that is the ham radio. Right. Let us get into this reading here. Okay. So in a brief, this whole reading is about this radio which is called as ham radio which is helpful during the disaster situations which can work irrespective of any disaster which can work if, even if there is no signal tower and all okay so this is the ham radio that you can see on the screen so in this lesson we will see the importance of this ham radio and also some inst instances where this ham radio was used okay the world is not a very safe place to live in these days as disaster and terrorism can strike at any moment. So, in our world, in our present world, it is not very safe place because we do not know when the disaster would happen, when someone would, you know, uh, put the bombs, nukes on our countries. Communication is the only relief in times of disaster and hence, the need for an efficient disaster management system becomes Im imperative in public places and even in business establishments and important commercial joints where people move around in large numbers. So whenever there is disastrous situation or whenever there is terrorist kind of attack, then people need communication, okay, especially where there are, uh, you know, large number of people in the cities kind of or towns in the capitals and all okay disaster might strike in the form of natural calamities terrorist attacks and accidents thus an efficient disaster management system which will work in adverse conditions is needed so disaster can be anything it can be a natural disaster it can be a terrorist attack or it can even be an accident so we did not know the form of disaster. So what we have to do is uh, to have an efficient disaster management system which will work in any condition. Okay. Disaster management crew must be well trained and equipped with the best appliances which might help them to communicate the condition they are in and the status of the calamity in the region they work for. So the personals which are who work in disaster management team, they should be trained well, they should have proper equipment and they should have bet, best appliances uh, through which they can communicate the condition uh, that is going on in this disastrous situation. Okay. In times of natural calamity like floods, storms or fire, the usual mode of communication like phone, mobile etc. might not work or might become inoperative in the calamity. So, you usually see, right, during the floods, uh, during the storms, and during the fire accidents and all, um, what happens is the cables are cut down. Okay, even the towers are also collapsed during the floods, heavy floods and fires. So, during this situation, you won't be able to use mobile phone, you won't be able to use phone. So, they become inoperative during these calamities. Underground communication lines get disabled due to flooding. Cell towers are blown over or simply choked due to high utilization. Backup generators run out of fuel or are filled up with water. So even, uh, you know, underground communication, you uh, should know that the internet, internet lines are... <coughs> even they are under the sea, under the water, okay. So, during the flood situations like tsunamis and all, these type of underground underground lines, they get cut and uh, even the cell phone towers are also simply blown over, okay, so because of high utilization, because people, you know, immediately they call all their friends, family members, relatives, everybody asking how it was, how are you, where are you and all. So, because of this high utilization, the cell phone towers are blown and uh, simply uh, there would be backup genera generators right even the backup generators would run out of fuel or they would be like uh, you know simply filled up with water because of uh, this flooding and all 
so you may not be able to use any of these services during these calamities this is where ham radio this is called as amateur radio comes into picture using hf that means high frequency radio sets messages can be conveyed or relayed to long distance accurate picture of the situation on the ground requirement and key information could be sent to disaster response team okay so this uh, in this situation during these situations there is a uh, one particular device which is called as ham radio which comes into picture everybody can use this pitch uh, this uh, ham radio due during this uh, disaster situation okay so it uses high frequency radio sets it works with radio uh, waves and all okay so through this you can simply convey the messages you can tell your location okay even you can speak to the people who are in long distance so you can simply convey the need that you want you can uh, you know tell the requirements that you need you can tell the problems that you have and all right with amateur radio operators you have a ready workforce that is efficient with regard to communicating with each other efficiently and effectively they are known for innovation and are adept uh, at adapting to situations so if at all any radio operator amateur radio operator is there then you should be uh, you know very strong you should have positive mindset because those people will do the work very efficiently okay and also effectively so uh, they those people are known for um, you know the people who can do the situations uh, who can adapt to the situations very easily even this amateur uh, radios can be used for any type of disaster they can simply adapt their situations unlike commercial systems amateur radio is not dependent on terrestrial facilities that can fail it is uh, dispersed throughout a community without choke points such as tel uh, cellular telephone sites that can be overloaded so commercial systems commercial systems in the sense mobile phones telephones and all these are all called as commercial systems these commercial systems they depend on the uh, you know network facilities like tele telephone facilities just like cell towers and all so what happens is during calamities they all get destroyed and you cannot use mobile phones but unlike all this this uh, you know amateur radio is doesn't depend on these type of things it doesn't even depend on the choke points just like uh, cellular telephones and all okay it is completely different it depends on the radio waves amateur radio operators are experienced in improvising antennas and power sources and most equipment available today can be pro, uh, powered by an automobile battery so the people the operators who operate this radio they are very well experienced uh, to improvise antennas and also power sources most equipment available today can be powered by an automobile battery so they know how to make use of these uh, you know antennas all these radio frequencies and all they are they are very good at it okay annual field days are held in many countries to practice these emergency improvisational skills amateur radio operators volunteer to help as and when needed however there is no national database on active operators who can be called upon during any disaster and also if they have right setup which means ready to go on air gear at short notice so annually there are some field days just like we have army day and people they bring different different uh, you know choppers different different uh, guns different tanks and all for the uh, you know uh, display they also bring this type of different different gadgets to di display and this uh, you know amateur radio operators ham radio operators they help in operating all this and also there is no particular number worldwide on uh, how many amateur radio operators are there operators are there so it is just like you know whenever there is need immediately people turn into be uh, operators because it is very easy to use amateur radio operators can use hundreds of frequencies and can quickly establish networks trying to disparate agencies together to enhance interoperability so what happens is see for example if you are using 
airtel sim you can only use the signal that comes out of airtel towers but this amateur radio that means this uh, ham radio can use any type of different different frequencies not just one type of frequency not one just just like we have radios okay for example um uh, mirchi air mirchi kind of radios like one one not point one okay one not one point one these type of signal frequencies would be there okay ham radio is not that type of you know single dependent radio single frequency dependent radio it it you know changes its frequencies easily and you can communicate from any frequency you can simply connect the frequencies to other people and uh, you can speak to them okay in gujarat india earthquake on 26 january 2001 amateur radio operators of gujarat commanded disaster relief communications within hours of the tragedy so in 2001 26 january there was an earthquake in gujarat so these amateur radio operators they uh, you know communicated with the disaster relief um, management team and uh, immediately they got help within hours so with the help of hams from various parts of the country an emergency traffic network was established to exchange information to various parts of the country so immediately soon after this incident like within hours uh, there was a setup of uh, ham radios to exchange all the information that was there uh, between all these areas so they established this it across the country okay recent examples include the september 11 attack on the world trade center in manhattan in 2011 the 2003 north america blackout and hurricane katrina in september 2005 where amateur radio was used to coordinate disaster relief activities when other systems failed so even in usa there were different different incidents one was world trade incident that was attacked by the pakistanis and also uh, in 2003 north america blackout was there the, and also there was hurricane katrina that was the name of uh, hurricane it was in september 2005 during all these incident uh, incidents uh, ham radio was used okay next on september 2 2004 ham radio was used to inform weather forecasts with information on hurricane francis uh, live from the bahamas on september december 6 2004 an earthquake and resulting tsunami across the indian ocean wiped out all communications with the andaman islands except for an expedition that provided a means to coordinate relief efforts recently amateur radio operators in the people's republic of china provided emergency communications after the 2008 uh, sichuan earthquake and us hams did similar uh, work following hurricane ike so one was uh, during uh, this incident which was there during the hurricanes in september 2 2004 so uh, the people used these hams to exchange the weather forecast information and also on September uh, 26, 2004, there was an earthquake and finally it turned out to be tsunami uh, across the Indian Ocean. So it wiped out all the communication within the Andaman Islands, but there was the communication with ham radios. Okay. And later uh, in the Republic of China, that is in China country, uh, during this 2008 at Siachen earthquake, people communicated with the help of these ham radios. Next. In US, uh, during this Hurricane Ike, the people communicated with the ham radios. Okay, so almost during every disaster, these ham radios were used. But cyclones, earthquakes or floods are not everyday events. What we see every day is, some, uh, is that someone in that remote places is struggling for life, awaiting the arrival of an essential drug from another town or someone has lost a dear one because of medical attention could not reach him on time all this happens because most often communication is slow or impossible hams have special section to handle medical and other emergency traffic on their daily nets so this type of fluids earthquakes tsunamis they are all not you know regular incidents that happen but the regular incidents that happen uh, are the people who die in the remote areas remote areas in the sense in the villages in the far areas where people live in the forest and all okay so in that areas 
there won't be any communication there won't be any mode of you know operating nowadays uh, it is fine we see that many people use these mobile phones and all okay but you know previously there were no mobile phones people could not communicate with others so they couldn't get proper medication they couldn't you know do the things on time so in that areas you know communication is very essential so with that you know they can simply get the medical assistance they can have their essentials on time okay so now how to become a radio amateur amateur radio operators have to qualify in an examination conducted by ministry of communications government of india and obtain license for operating possessing a radio station so if you want to become a ham radio operator you should first uh, you know write an exam that is conducted by ministry of communications that is by government of india and you should uh, you will finally get a license for operating it any individual above the age of 12 is permitted to appear for amateur radio operator license examination and no education qualification is prescribed so you need not to have any targeted education qualification uh, if you are the person who just crossed uh, 12 years then you are eligible to appear for this examination okay it takes just 2 months that mean uh, say 2 hours a uh, day training to become eligible for the examination one should qualify a sam- simple test conducted in three three subjects namely that we will see later so uh, you hardly have to spend 2 months to get eligibility for this examination okay and uh, the examination consists of the simple three subjects namely one is morse code that is transmission and reception you know morse code right that is used in the army next communication pro, uh, procedure that is another test that you have to pass next basic electronics that is another subject you will have in the exam these three subjects would be there in the exam next the officer in charge wireless monitoring station department of telecommunications under ministry of communication government of india is the authority for the conduct, for conducting these tests in their own town provided there are sufficient number of applicants if there are sufficient number of applicants in one single town then the exam is conducted by the officer in charge who monitors the station and all the licenses are issued by the wireless planning and coordination wing of dot got of india after passing the test so once you pass the test then you will get the license from the wireless uh, planning and coordination wing of department that is by government of india now you can know more details from the website www.hamradio.in/amateur_radio/ so this is uh, the website that you have for this ham radio from this you can get more information you can even apply for this uh, you know license of operating ham radio so that is of we can use ham radio next we have glossary here disaster and event resulting in great loss just like natural disaster establishment a structure with building and equipment for business appliances that means instruments or devices for a specific purpose choke choke in the sense block okay we choke to death in sense air blocks and we choke to death uh they are choking the network in the sense networks get blocked innovation these are creation resulting from study or exper- uh, experimentation next adapt in the sense skillful one who is very good next terrestrial relating to the land terrestrial areas in the sense la- uh, relating to lands desperate in the sense different uh, in quality or kind interoperability the ability to exchange or union uh, or use information blackout in the sense loss of light okay completely there is no power okay uh, you won't have any power for so many days expedition this is a journey organized for a per- particular purpose a remote that means isolated area okay far area right so this is the glossary that you have for this students so this is the lesson that we can see that is uh, on ham radio this is the picture that we see here usually nowadays this is used by uh, the army people okay so you can see this in the movies even this is used by the police also so whenever they need to 
exchange some information immediately they immediately take the help of ham radios okay so this is it for this lesson and in the next lesson next video we will come up with the freedom theme of the unit that is a long walk to freedom right so before leaving the video if you like the video please hit on the like button and please do subscribe to my channel and also please share the information of this video to your friends you can share it in whatsapp facebook and even in any other social media platform so that together we will educate so many other people thank you so much for watching see you all in the next video